Well, yesterday we touched down in London town. <laughs> and, um, London, Dubai, where was Yeah, and we um, went to London. Okay. I'm trying to have a conversation okay. to the camera. And... I got a ride on a motorbike. It's quite nice about that. Was when? What? When? When did you do this? I don't know. I don't speaking to some French people, and um, some man tried to come on to me, so I said, "Je, je adore les femmes." Basically, I, I love a female actually. My name is Jane Kazelska. I'm the editor of Diva Magazine. It's uh, Europe's leading magazine for gay and bisexual women. Yeah. Well, came to London to, to get Diva, Diva Magazine. magazine. <laughs> <laughs> What you guys are doing um, with your project is really, really important and really inspiring as well. I think if you could um, get people to do the same kind of thing, you know, in different, you know, all the cities throughout the country, it'd be really, it would make a huge different difference. It would kind of be like a sort of a political Mexican wave, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? And um, it could really kind of change the culture. Just instead of being kind of passive um, and you know complaining and, and, and you know being passive kind of victims of homophobia actually just saying you know this isn't enough it's not about being tolerated it's about actually going out there and demanding that uh, we're treated in the right way and that also that other people who aren't necessarily as fortunate who don't have the confidence and who don't have a voice um, can actually you know feel like they belong to a wider community of people uh, and they have just as much of a right to be who they are gay but you know straight bisexual questioning you know transgender whatever um, and so I think I really really wish you good luck with all the stuff that you're doing because I just think it's an amazing project and Diva will definitely be covering what you're doing